Um, I will now call the order this review scheduled meeting of the Sunderland Select Board. The time is 631. Our first order of business will be to approve the minutes of October 23rd. And motion we approve the minutes from October 23rd. Second. All right, we have a motion made and seconded. Any discussion? Hearing no discussion, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Three nothing. All right. Uh, are you guys here for the tax clarification? Yes. Sir. Okay. Yes, sir. I just want to make sure we're on the. I would like to probably get the people in the audience up first, so we're not up here talking about something for twenty minutes and making you wait. Um, so, Jeff, do you mind giving us a little bit of background on this one? Yep. So every year um, we do a tax classification hearing where the assessors make a recommend make recommendations related to the tax rates, whether to have a single tax rate or a split tax rate between residential, commercial, open space um exemptions and um things like that so typically they the assessors come in they talk to you about sort of the change in the best property values and then make their recommendations and then you all vote to accept or if you disagree <laughs> uh have a conference discuss it um and then that's it wonderful Okay. You want to start? We do. All right. I'm uh, Dave Zaborski, the uh, assistant assessor. I don't know. I, I think we've all met. So. Um, so we are here for the 2024 tax classification. Um, so for fiscal 24, um, we are seeing an increase uh, value, increased residential values of about 13%. Um, and about seven and a half percent for all other classes, which is commercial, industrial, and personal property. Um, that uh, increase is largely due to sales of homes, uh, which drive our assessments. So we're um, still coming in higher than what we have assessed. So unfortunately, we have to kind of protect that. So, yeah. Um, so the board. Um, recommends doing the single tax rate. Um, we don't have a commercial base to really do a split tax rate. You recommended that we have uh, the towns have a 20 to 25% commercial base before doing the split tax rate. So um, in Sunday, 90% of the tax burden is residential. Um, so it's just not. Is the other 10% mostly commercial or is there a large the, Basically the breakdown is 5% uh, commercial, uh, about one and a half percent industrial and then three and a half percent personal property. Okay. So, so all the other all the other classes combined equal about ten percent. Okay, that makes sense. Great. Yeah. Thank you. So um we don't have any open space. Um so we don't grant an open space discount. Um residential exemption um is usually for towns that have a large number of vacation or non-owner occupied properties, uh, especially towns like on the Cape. Um so it's not recommended to vote for a residential exemption, um, small commercial exemption. Um, again, it it's, uh, allows for up to 10% of the value of commercial par parcels to be exempt from taxation. Um, but we have no large commercial business in town um, to bear the brunt of that. So it's not recommended to approve a small commercial exemption. Um, so in summary, the assessor's recommendation for fiscal 24 is a single tax rate for all classes of property, no open space discount, no residential exemption, no small commercial exemption. And that's the same as it's been since the dawn of time. Forever. Yeah, that was my question. <laughs> yes. Um, great. I, I mean, that that's all. If, if you were coming in here saying, we want to add a whole bunch of exemptions, that might be a different conversation, but status quo is, you know. Yeah, status quo is what we're at. Yeah. Um, and yes, if I believe Zillow, then my property values have done dramatically over the last couple of years. Yeah. It's, it's, <laughs> so. I'm seeing it in all my other towns, too. Yeah. Like, um, they're just, people are coming in and they're paying more than what the assessment is. And unfortunately, that means that we have to kind of adjust accordingly. Yep. So. It is market driven after all. Yep. Any questions from either of you? No. No, I'm good. All right. At this time, I'd entertain a motion to assess, accept the assessor's recommendations as stated. I uh, motion we accept the single tax rate. Right? Second. All right. We have a motion made second. Ooh, Jeff? So just to clarify on the motion, it's a motion for a single tax rate, 
no open space discount, no residential exemption, and no small commercial exemption, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Thank Thank you. You. Yeah. All right. Motion made, seconded. Second. All right. Motion made, seconded. Not hearing any further discussion. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Three nothing. Thank you. Wonderful. All right. Thank you much. Thank you. <laughs> we'll see you next year. Uh, <laughs> and I'm going to go out on this and say the next year probably going to recommend the same. <laughs> Most likely. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, you don't think I'm going to bring in 10% more <laughs> property? You got to bring in 15% more. Maybe they put in like a huge mall or something. Yeah. Like that was shot. I don't see that. Amusement park. Oh, I'd like that. Yeah. <laughs> Water slide. I'll be better than six slides. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, have a great one. There you go. Sure. That's right. the park that used to be there yeah. a million years ago. Sure. All righty. So next up is going to be our unpaid sewer fees out of the tax bills every year. Unpaid sewer fees get out of the tax bills. Like it says, um, Jeff, do you want to add anything to that? Or? Uh, just a little bit more information. There were 20 properties this year representing 40 sewer units. Um, the Rate was uh, the fiscal 23 sewer rate was 316.63. Um, and then the interest for each unit was uh, $58.94 that, that was getting added to the 316.63. Okay. So the, the total amount being added um, in tax bills is $15,022.80. And that includes two thousand three hundred fifty-seven sixty in interest and twelve thousand six sixty-five point eight in back pay. Okay. Yep. Great. Any uh, discussion or questions? How many were there last year? Do you know roughly about the same amount number? About yeah, yeah. There might have been about the same. Yeah. Two more or less. Yeah. Um. So is there? The ability to charge a fine or something like that. And just, you know, is there the ability to whittle this list down smaller somehow? Um, I can talk to the collector and ask her to talk to other collectors and see what strategies they've employed in other communities. To, um... I mean, I don't think that this is an extremely long list by any means. Um, I'm just, you know. Or if it's typical for the number of users that we have. What's right. the the methods they have available for pay? Is it like any other bill in town or? Yep. Okay. Yep. They can walk they can in. Pay. Pay. Yep, they can walk in, pay cash. Um, it, yeah, if you'd like, I can also look at the last couple of years and, you know, see if it's the same people doing it again or it's a every year it's new people and, they just forget and then yeah you know it might not be worth yeah and and again if it's it, it percentage wise of you know the people in town this probably isn't a huge number but again sewer isn't at every house either right right so and there might be a, a non huge way to do it also in terms of Identifying the frequent flyers and having the town send out an extra reminder note to each one of them next year, just to be like, "Hey, it's that time again." Um, yeah, yeah, if you don't mind look, talking to the other or having to talk to the other uh, other people. Yeah. All right. Um, anything else? This one is the, the. I mean, how much extra cost? A lot of extra cost that goes into this. Just, I mean, this? We're, we're getting the interest out of it, I mean, so it's it's almost the fifteen twenty percent almost. Yeah. But yeah, I wasn't sure how much. It's a penalty, yeah, for sure. Yeah. So, but yeah, anything you can do to speed them in, get them in quicker, that'd be great. Yeah, but honestly, that was my first impression. <laughs> oh, great. That's an extra $2,357 that we didn't have in the budget last year. We can, we can play with this year. Um, yeah, but ideally, we'd get your list a little down if you could. Because I mean, yeah. there's got to be some manpower hours associated with yeah. generating this and keeping track of it. And yep. Okay. Yeah. It doesn't just spit itself out of the computer. Yeah. yeah. Not yet. Any more discussion? Okay. 
I'm good. Right. At this time, I would entertain a motion to attach the unpaid sewer fees to the appropriate uh, residence tax bills. So moved. Second. All right, we have a motion made and seconded. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All right, three nothing. Right. We have on here Mass DOT liaison. Yeah, I guess I've been talking with Jeff about it for some time. Um, I'm just trying to find a way to get a little more communication or be able to prod them a little better. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's not that they're not being responsible, but I'd like to be able to just be able to maybe get a little more, you know, understand the process better. And if I have that, if I'm kind of designated as a little help, I won't speak for the select board, I won't speak for the town, mm -hmm. but at least I'll be able to maybe get some more information bring back. And that's, that was the reason I put it on the, okay. on the agenda. And are you asking for the board to uh, point you in such I think, I don't or? know. That, that would be great. I don't know. I can just do it informally. It's fine. I mean, I mean, if yeah. the board said it was something they thought would be useful, that would be great. I mean, I, th I certainly think informally all of us are empowered to have communication with okay. appropriate agencies, you know, from the perspective of I'm coming to you as a person, not sure. as a board. Sure. Um, if we, if you want to move more to a like speaking on behalf of the board. No, no I don't I don't want to do that. Entirely. I don't want to do that. Um and in general I would be hesitant to appoint you to anything without having at least Jeff and our lawyer look it over and yeah. have the idea of that's something that's yeah that, that's not a problem. I think that I think that when individuals reach out to agencies as individuals they get but zero to be but happen to be elected officials, it's unclear to the agency how to respond. Yeah. So I think it's helpful to say, yeah, you know, and if it wants to be informal, that's fine. Um, but then I can say to Matt, uh, yep, the select board talked about it, uh, you know, and they are comfortable with Dan having these conversations. Yeah. Yeah. The thing, Jeff was okay. That wouldn't have done it. I yeah, didn't yeah. want to step okay. on Jeff's oh, toes yeah. at all. Yeah. Well, he was. He said that's fine because he had more communication. I certainly understand the, the the additional backing of I'm coming on behalf of the select board, not necessarily to, to negotiate on their behalf, no. but just like you know, I have the backing and support of the select right. board. To I'm inquire on yeah, behalf. That's all. That's that, that 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 all. And I won't be a pest to them. I'll, I'll play it gently. How would you want that worded in terms of the motion? Um, move to point. Dan Murphy, um, select board liaison. To okay. Nice yeah. So, my motion we select, we appoint Dan Murphy to be the select board liaison with the Mass DOT. All right. Seconded. Do I do all of them? Right? <laughs> I know he can't. Yeah. So, okay. Yeah. Um, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Yeah. Can I say aye? <laughs> I'm happy to this. Yeah, okay. Probably. Thank Better you. do so. Thank All right. Um, you know, I thank you for that. We really appreciate that. Okay. Um, I always like thank to make sure the guy who's supposed to keep me honest. Is yes. <laughs> I wouldn't have brought it without his blessing. Yep. Yeah. It just, it's without having some type of, you know, official whatever. It's no different than me calling Mass DOT, right? And saying, hey, what's going on there, guys? You want it to be, I think, somewhat. I thought it was a tough one to do. Yeah, and if you get to a point where you would like to have like a letter drafted on yeah, from all of we'll us to have Jeff write it up and then we'll all sign and shut sure it out and we'll vote on it at a meeting. Okay, thank you. Absolutely. Thank you for that. Um so that's it for new business. Uh next up under old business, we have um our spending proposal streetlights. We're actually gonna move this item off until next week because we're not ready for it yet. So even though it's on the agenda, we are not dealing with it. Uh, which just brings us around to select board updates. Uh, I do not have anything this week other than happy Halloween to everybody. <laughs> I do not have anything this week either. Can I mention the village committee? Yeah. Yeah, the village committee, we had a meeting. We just kind of done our kickoff. Mm -hmm. We're looking at the 15th for a big day in November. Where we're going to meet with uh, all town officials. And we're going to have something in the evening. But we're going to meet with all, try to get together with all the business, get some feedback, get some thoughts about what they think about uh, the center and the traffic and how we can improve it and make it on November 15th. November 15th on a Wednesday. Okay. In the evening? It's all this it's, it's a kind of one o'clock PM start. Yeah, so we're gonna have stakeholder meetings. Um they're arriving at eleven from about one to four. And then in the evening we're gonna invite boards and committees, planning boards, EBA, select board to come in. Well no, it just 
It's not a lot of notice for. That's all. That's my concern. Yeah, I think that there was there was a desire to get it in before Thanksgiving and with schedules. You want to be more that? Yeah. No, absolutely. Um, and I. I'll also mention that this is the kickoff meeting. This is the background information gathering. Sure, sure. Then they're going to go off, do their work, come back, have another public presentation where they act, have, come with ideas. Um, what time is that evening part of it? Just, um, did we say? I am yeah, sure. I should make the I think. Um, I will double check. Yeah, you can get that information out to us with the all the timing and whatnot. That'd be great. Right. Anything else, Stan? That's it. All right. That's it for select board updates. Okay. Um, next up is town administrator updates. Yeah. Yep. Uh, two more things until we get free cash. So hopefully next week, which is would be oh, early. Yep. For us. <laughs> Could be great. Um, just waiting on one thing from the assessors and then one thing from our old accounting software to get a report. And that's it. What do you say? All I said he needed. Um, is that the last thing we need with the old accounting software? Is that then we're just entirely a new one or is there still stuff? Yeah, I think that we should be all set. We just want to keep it around for historical reasons. For the well, we're taking yeah. a year anyway, so right. we might well, you know. Yep. Okay, great. Thanks. Um, and then, oh, so Halloween, the Sunderland Police Department is going to be out with the kiddos 5.30 to 7.30. Um, so if you want to make sure that, that there's protection, that's a good time to go. Um, and then the last thing is the capital improvement plan um, with the override included the first year payment um, for a backhoe loader, which is, we didn't think was going to come in for a few months, but it's in. So I will have the um, financing documents uh, ready next week um, for that. Okay. Great. So how much earlier than expected was that? We were thinking that it would probably be closer to February. Wow. So yeah, three or four months. Now is that good in terms of delivery of the of the the loader itself or is that same time frame you're just asking for the money earlier? Uh no, it's earlier. The delivery is earlier. So I mean that's that's good. I mean yeah. we could be having you come in and say, so we have to put that off for another two years and they just up their estimate for an extra 48 months you know. Yes. No, yeah. Fortunately that, that is not the case and hopefully we'll we'll have it and it'll be available for and he worked that needs to be done this winter. Wonderful. Nice. That's great. Yeah. Um, and so you're gonna have next week you're gonna have stuff for us to sign for that? Yeah, yeah, the okay. financing document. Gotcha, yeah. gotcha. Okay. Is that it for kind of that, that's it for me? All right. Um last up is uh next meeting will be next Monday, November sixth. Um, and just a reminder to everybody that the town offices will be closed this Thursday, November or next Thursday, November 9th, uh, for Veterans Day mobile park service. Um and that is it. So I will call us out at 6.49 p.m. I will entertain a motion to adjourn. A motion we adjourn. Uh oh, looks like Chris wants to ask <laughs> us something. Yeah, I'm sorry. Did I miss something? Did Did you set a tax rate? I know you set the a single tax rate, but a number. No. Nope. Okay, just making sure. Yep, yeah. <laughs> there's not a number. No, and, and the tax rate it is, whatever it is, is going to be, Two and a half percent, no, no more than two and a half percent more than it was last year. Um, it, it, my, my assumption will be that the effective tax rate will go down because the property values grew more than two and a half percent this last year. Um, so that that will be determined later. Okay, that's what I thought. I just wasn't sure. <laughs> Thank you. Absolutely. Thanks for coming. Thanks. All right, I will entertain a motion to adjourn. I motion to adjourn. Second. All right, motion made and seconded. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All right, three nothing. It is six fifty. Take us on it. All right.